Hello everyone, in this video we are given this exponential equation and we have to find the value of x. I'll be solving this problem in three different ways, so watch this video to the end and you'll know all these three methods. Now let's begin with the first method. With this method, we will make the basis on each side of the equation the same. Let's change 3 to 5 and we can do that by writing 5 raised to power log in base 5 of 3 to the power 2 minus x so that when this 5 and then this log cancel we are left with what we have here and on the right hand side we have 5 to the power x plus 4 so now that the bases are the same let's equate their exponent so we have log in base 5 of 3 to the power 2 minus x is equal to x plus 4. Then from the properties of log, the exponent now becomes the leading number. So we will have 2 minus x times log in base 5 of 3 is equal to x plus 4. Now let's go ahead and then distribute this log in base 5 of 3. So we have 2 log in base 5 of 3 minus x log in base 5 of 3. And this is equal to x plus 4. Then we will group like terms here. We have 2 log in base 5 of 3 minus this 4 over here. And this is equal to x plus x log in base 5 of 3. So we will keep the left hand side. We have 2 log in base 5 of 3 minus 4 is equal to x is common here. So we will take x out. We have 1 plus log in base 5 of 3. Since we are looking for x, we will divide each side of the equation by 1 plus log in base 5 of 3 then divided by the exact same thing, 1 plus log in base 5 of 3, so that this whole thing will cancel that. Now we have x is equal to 2 log in base 5 of 3 minus 4, divided by 1 plus log in base 5 of 3. And from here, we can straight away use the calculator to get x, which is approximately negative 1.565897. So this is the value of x from the first method. So let's start with the second method or approach. Now with this method, we can write the left hand side as 3 to the power 2 divided by 3 to the power x is equal to, the right hand side is also the same as 5 to the power x times 5 to the power 4. Then we will multiply each side of the equation by 3 to the power x, 3 to the power x, so that this and this will go. On the left hand side, we are left with 3 to the power 2. Then we will also divide each side of the equation by this one, right, so that we we'll get 5 to the power 4 is equal to, here we are left with 5 to the power x times 3 to the power x. Then remember we divided each side of the equation by 5 to the power 4. So this one will go. So this is what we are left with, right? So we have 3 to the power 2 divided by 5 to the power 4 is equal to, this could be written as, 3 times 5 or to the power x. So 3 times 5 will be 15. So we have 15 to the power x. Then we will introduce log on each side of the equation. So we have log in base 10 of 3 to the power 2 divided by 5 to the power 4. And this is equal to log in base 10 of 15 to the power x. Let's bring it here. Since this is dividing, we can write it as log in base 10 of 3 to the power 2 minus log in base 10 of 
5 to the power 4 and this is equal to x log 15. Then from the properties of log, the powers now becomes the leading number. So we can write this as 2 log 3 minus 4 log 5 and this is equal to x log 15. Since we are looking for x, we will divide each side of the equation by log 15. So that this and this will go. Now we have x is equal to 2 log 3 minus 4 log 5 all divided by log 15. And this is also x approximately equal to what we had before. That is negative 1.565897. So it also gave us the same answer. Then we we'll move on to the last method, which is the third method. With this method, it is familiar to a lot of people. We will just introduce log in both sides of the equation straight away. So we will get log 3 to the power 2 minus x is equal to log 5 to the power x plus 4. The log is in base 10, right? Then, as usual, the powers become the leading number. So you have 2 minus x times log 3 is equal to x plus 4 log 5. Then we will distribute log 3. So we will have 2 log 3 minus x log 3 is equal to, we also distribute log 5 here. So you have x log 5 plus 4 log 5. Then we will group light terms here. So we will have 2 log 3 minus what we have here, which is 4 log 5 is equal to this one, x log 5 plus this. You have x log 3. So let's keep the left hand side. We have 2 log 3 minus 4 log 5 is equal to x is here, x is here, so we can factor it. We have x times log 5 plus log 3. Since we are looking for x, we will divide each side of the equation by log 5 plus log 3. So we have log 5 plus log 3 log 5 plus log 3 so that this whole thing will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 2 log 3 minus 4 log 5 all divided by log 5 plus log 3 and this is also approximately negative 1.565897. So let me know which method you prefer using. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, and share. Have a nice day. See you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.